I'm just letting you know that I've had an update about my parcel force dilemma. As you know, I'm a huge fan of them and I sent them away some of my artwork the last time I spoke to you and they've got back to me. I can't believe it. They've sent me a letter to come and visit them. I'll just, I'll, hold on and I'll read it out for you. Dear Katrina, we are happy to hear of your fandom. We are very big fans of ourselves also. Hans greatly enjoyed your art and has installed it in our gallery. We'd like to also extend our warmest invitation for you to come and visit us in our home in Edinburgh. Hugs and kisses, Otto. Okay, so it's not Hans, but it's so great. They still got back to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my camera and film the meeting. And so I'm here in Edinburgh and I've seen some great parcel force sites. This is where Otto was arrested for trying to glue himself to the Queen. Here is the coffee shop where Hans wrote the song Milkshake Thunder. This is the street where Hans OD'd on brandy butter and hallucinated the video for Buckets of Postman. And this is the Tesco's where Otto works. And here is their house. You are the girl, Hans, Hans. This is Katrina, the girl who sent the artwork that you like so much. The one, the one that gave you the erection? Oh, this is Katrina. I am Hans. <laughs> no, seriously, I am Hans. Sh shall we go in? I'm fine. <laughs> Very well. Um, so, am I going to get a tour of the Uber house? Yeah, of course. Let us go. This is the living room where we do most of our living. And if you follow me into the hallway, we can go see the gallery. Here is the Grand Gallery of Hans, uh, and your picture is up there, pride of place. I really like how it shows my power and my mastery of the elements. Now, over here we have some photos I commissioned from someone who I thought was Andy Warhol, but he turned out to be the lead singer of a Dandy Warhol's tribute band called The Bohemian Likesams. It was very embarrassing for all involved, particularly Otto. What? You had one job. Get Andy Warhol to take the pictures of me, and you fail even in this. Isn't Andy Warhol dead? Besides the point. I want results, not excuses. Okay. Now we'll go to Otto's room. Hans. 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 No. Uh, Otto does not want us to go into his room. He has not cleaned up his pornography yet. Why did you mention this and not the fact that I have not hoovered? I did not want to make you seem like an animal in the presence of a lady. I'm doing you a favor. Now you shall see our recording studio. Um, this is our recording studio. It kind of looks like a bathroom. It also functions as that. Well, everyone knows that everyone sings better in the shower, so we just cut out the middleman. And here we are. Yeah, we lost our original recording studio in the bed with the artist currently known as Prince. And it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Isn't it distracting for the sound technicians when you are in here on the toilet? Yeah, but it's, it's a sacrifice Otto is willing to make. Yes, my bowel movements have been heard the world over. It's his single greatest contribution to our work. So, why don't you tell me about your upcoming projects? Well, we have a number of projects on the go currently. Uh, most importantly is our tribute to the late, great, David Hasselhoff, may he rest in peace. Uh, David Hasselhoff isn't dead. Was is das? David Hasselhoff, he's not actually dead. No, I'm pretty sure he is. Otherwise, we wasted a lot of money rebuilding the Berlin Wall so we can knock it down again in his honor, right, Otto? <laughs> I think she might be right, Hans. I will fix this. <sighs> We are also working on a new concept album, 
Well, yes, but we have not quite decided on the concept. Uh, we have narrowed it down to either Sounds of Commercialism or Rainbows and Their Multiples. But you've already recorded the album. Yeah, it's just a matter of changing the font on the album artwork. Comic Sounds. No artwork. But, but you said that. I said no such thing. So, it seems that Hans has a lot of the creative control. How does that make you feel, Otto? Well, I did not read the contract very carefully. Um, after all, I'm just in it for the love of music. 40% of the love of music. I get all the creative control, royalties from albums and live shows, 97% of merchandising, 3% goes to my mother. Why 3%? Uh, my psychologist determined that this was all the work she did in giving birth to me. Why don't you tell me about the famous goggles? They've featured prominently in all of your music videos, but they seem to have disappeared, much to the disappointment of the fans. Would you like to tell me about that? Well, the story starts and ends with a homeless man, and legally that is all I can really safely tell you. So, what about your most famous song, Uber Wave? Would you like to tell me about the creation of that? Ah, yes. My masterpiece. My Mona Lisa. My Sistine Chapel. My Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen. Ah, so much work went into that song. So much symbolism interwoven into every line and into every beat to represent the spirit of humanity. We shut down the New York Metro for three days to film that. Everyone knew it was the right thing to do. None of that is even slightly true. We filmed that in 15 minutes on our phones. So, what would you like to say to any of your fans who aspire to be like you? I would say, do not even try. Do not even attempt it. It is an exercise that will end in best in failure and futility and despair. No one is Hans. I am Hans and there is no other. You could maybe reach the level of Otto. In fact, I am looking for another replacement, Otto. I would like to apply. Uh, so this has been very educational, but I think I should get going now. Oh, no, no, don't, don't leave, you've only just arrived. Have a biscuit, sit down. No, I really do need to get going. Wait, wait, I need your name so I can add you on the Facebook. I'll add you. Bye. Arthur, I'm totally going to poke her. Passive boss, who got there? Who got there?